NCRP Productions presents Unhallowed Metropolis, Secrets in the Sands, Episode 10. Welcome back to Unhallowed. This is Barry. I'm going to be game mastering tonight. We've got a name. We are going to be calling it Pedro. Uh, Unhallowed. Oh shit, I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and now I had to think about it. Yes. Okay, <laughs> actually, I'm going to throw it to Michael since he came up with it. Yes. yes. Secrets in the sand. That's Secrets what we're calling. in the sand. That's what I was going to say. That's what you're going to say. Secrets right, in right. the sand. So I knew it. Sand. I knew it. <laughs> oh my All right, God. so you'll get to see that with episode one, but you get to know that we, we created it in episode 10. So I'm going to go around the table, have everyone introduce myself. Jill, you want to start us? Uh, I'm Jill, and I uh, am running Raya the Mourner. Matt, and I'm running Aiden Carter, Antiquarian. Hey, I'm Ty. I'm running Ray Callahan, the Pugilist. Hello, I'm Michael. I'm playing as Dr. Everett Wolf, the doctor specializing in alchemy and chemistry. Hi, this is Sequoia, and I'm playing Frankie, the Undertaker. Who am I playing? <laughs> hey, everybody, it's Pedro uh, playing Dr. Desmond Wright. You know, Pedro, I think it is time to, for you to go drink. I think it <laughs> might be. Start I, connecting those synapses. <laughs> so, and, and Sequoia, I still haven't found Undertaker music for you, but that suggestion from last week, maybe. <laughs> just yeah. maybe. All right, so one more piece of business that I will throw out there, the knuckle duster. We were having troubles with what the dr question was. So the plus two DR. What it is, is if you hit somebody in the head that is a person who could be stunned oh. or knocked out, not an animate, they have a plus two to their DR or their difficulty rating to avoid being knocked out. So the knuckle dusters help in knocking people out. Oh. So it's not a plus two to hit or a plus two damage. We were having real troubles with that last week. So gotcha. you only hit one thing, so it wasn't that big a deal. And it was an animate, so it wouldn't have been knocked out anyway. But there's a potential you're going to get more shots with it. So just be aware. And uh, I, I think a couple of things, uh, if we can get a cutout piece, Ty has done drawings for his knuckle dusters, mm -hmm. and we will put those up on the Patreon. Yes. And then the other thing is, as I'm running through stuff, I think I'm going to make certain that the maps for the episodes are going to start being up on the Patreon, including the one where you guys are right now within Cairo. Okay. So you'll get to start seeing those there. Awesome. Very Excellent. Cool. All right. So when last we left... On the south side of town, which is up Nile, I'll start throwing that out there so you guys get used to that, we have Raya, Aiden, and Wright in the house next to Aiden's house. Wright and Aiden are downstairs. Aiden currently is ascribing a seal, the seal of the archangels on the floor in the downstairs room. Wright, I believe you're just relaxing. Yeah, I'm just kind of watching. Well, wait, this is your library? No, this, no. Is this is just the base. door house. Oh, this yeah. This is the one the rest of I you thought are you were, in. I thought you were working on the holy water. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was working on the holy... I was blessing the holy water. <laughs> well, I thought you had I thought you had the spell. I didn't know you were starting. So, yeah, oh, oh yeah. No, no, no. I'm good for you starting to bless I'm it. I'm starting to bless it. <laughs> oh, blessed holy water. Yes. All right. Yes, oh. yes the most cursed character. <laughs> <laughs> black Oops. again. It's black again. <laughs> Raya is up on the roof watching the streets below, and we're going to end up starting yes. with you. Within the home, Mei Ling and also Billings, you do know are up in their room. Nobody has gone to check to see whether or not Cal and Marood are here. You know, not the dun dun dun. I'm just saying nobody has done that yet. <laughs> um, Probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> this residence, as well as Aiden's residence, where, where you believe nobody is, nobody stayed there, are boarded up. Something that the Egyptians of Cairo have done and, and the other residents here in Cairo have done is all of the buildings have effectively storm shutter type things to lock out when there's an animate attack, giving the EMP an ability to capture everything in the street. That's what Aiden knows from his many years of being here. Something would be kind of nice if London could do it, but they're not at that point. And with the lack of contact for years that you guys are aware of, it, it would make sense that nobody's thought of this. It's also great for burglars. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. On the other side of town, in the eastern edge of the market, basically at this point now, you guys are down near the, the river wall. Wolf 
You have just stabilized two of the injured people. I believe they're ENP. They are ENP. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you've just stabilized two of the injured officers. A third one, you were not successful in keeping him alive, and he was not successful in staying dead. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and Frankie came over and helped you with with hit you and him with that problem, and popped his head off. Hell yeah. So. Frankie, if, if I remember correctly, you have spied Ray across the courtyard. Yes, um, and they, oh, the coolest fight ever. Yep, yep, you got to see Ray take out one of the animates, at which point the whole group of you heard, run, and as you looked up, there was a wall of flame coming your way. Oh, yeah, the wall of flame. I wall of flame. About so that. we'll start with Raya <laughs> on the house next door for Aiden. <laughs> So, Raya, up up on the roof there, that you are very, very easily able to see <laughs> down the street in both directions quite a ways. There is a small bit of smoke coming from the south, coming from where Ray went, coming from the marketplace area. It's not overcasting everything. You can still reasonably clearly see the streets. So, looking out across the street, you've already been across the street once. The building over there houses Sara's friend. She is staying there. She has been extremely uncomfortable with Ray. Actually, last game session warned a number of you that you should do something with him. Tie him up, pin him, possibly put him in your panic room, Aiden. And Aiden, you left him with free will and Ray is not here. But Sara chose not to stay with you guys, she's across the street. And so, Raya, you're able to see there. Also, you guys heard a number of shots, maybe 15 to 20 shots, gunfire to the right. So up here, I'm assuming that would be probably one of the first things that you look, see what you can see. So okay. give me a wits roll. 14. So with the 14 you're able to see down, you will notice there are six bodies down in the street at this distance, at this vantage, you are uncertain if they've been shot in the head and whether or not they had animated already. But I'm certain you're going to keep watch on them. Yes. Since you've been up here, you have seen, so far you have seen nobody moving on the streets. Not back, forth, or anything. So, all quiet. Aiden, go ahead and give me a, uh, a roll for finishing off that seal. All right. I'm assuming that you've got something like theology or thanatology or... Mythology. What is it? Mythology. Mythology works great. I like that. <laughs> and I'm going to start that with a re-roll. Okay. What are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I'm sitting next to him. <laughs> Well, from my vantage point, it looks thriller-esque. Michael, stop it. <laughs> it it did look like the thriller day. They can't see it, but that's 15. copyrighted. <laughs> How much? 15. So with a 15, you're able to, to finalize that, that seal. My understanding is the intent is to, once Ray returns, have him stand in the center of that. Right. Okay, very good. So you feel confident and you have it set up. Are you invoking anything other than simply the drawn seal, um, uh, candles, sand, Yeah, I'm going to put like, like things I've read, stuff. To basically, my hope is to put things that will weaken the uh, control of the spirit world on his uh, okay. mortal form. So the, the seal that you're doing is an attempt book. to <laughs> basically not exercise the, the demon or whatever it is that's controlling him, but give it less power. Right. My hope is, is that by weakening the spirit, uh, he'll be able to force it out. Very good. All right. Right? I literally have no clue what to have you roll for making oh, holy water. I'm going to go I, with oh, intelligence, no. maybe, unless you have a better idea. You're a man, no. Well, all right. You are a man of science. I... How much do you believe in holy water as a, we'll call it, mystical, magical thing? Well, mystical and magical, I guess, wouldn't be the right word. I mean, so... I imagine in this time period, everyone has a certain level of theological belief. Yeah, theological. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely believe that. Um, this um, is this is England I mostly. Think, yeah, I think the doctor. You know, actually, the doctor, pro based on his past, he would have been much more religious, and then after the death of his wife, much less. Sure, sure. And yet, you know what? I think he would think that it would have some scientific basis like there must be something with the 
the saying of the prayers and there might be a measurable amount of belief. A twist in the ether, possibly? Yeah, something. Okay. Because he, he's seen spirits. He knows that exists. So in his mind... Maybe he, you see, maybe it's not so much faith, it's more of ration. Like, okay. like, oh, well, if there's spirits, then there's probably something to this. So saying this will create holy water in gotcha. some manner. I haven't scientifically delved into it. Okay. So I'm it's, still... a, it's a different form of alchemy. Okay. So I'm going to go. Wow. I like that. I, like that. I, can roll I originally was going to give you a minus one for having no Jacob's ladders involved, but I'm going to let you roll straight. Do don't worry. I'm going to zap it with the galvanic. Do you think I don't have a portable Jacob's ladder? Oh, it's set up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just sprinkle a little meth in there. Yeah. Because no. that'll help the spirits. None of the holy water. <laughs> I'd have to pour just a little bit of acid in there to get that burn when you sprinkle it. <laughs> so do you have alchemy? Uh, I do have alchemy, actually. Then let's give it a roll. Okay. So, so again, I, you're taking, yeah. uh, outside of game, you're taking a faith thing yeah. and cre- treating it as a scientific thing. I like uh, that. Effectively, yeah. Yep. Give me a roll. No, that's actually not too bad. Um, let me see if I want to keep that. <laughs> Those yeah. two sentences don't go hand in hand. Well, no, I mean, it could always be better. Is yeah. what I'm, I'm going to use one reroll. Okay. I'm obsessed with making this better than Doctor. So you're going to use the. <laughs> I like that. Uh, okay, I did actually make it a little bit better. Uh, so that's 14 plus. So that's 17. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll just to see. Yeah. Just, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it might be an eighteen or something. Right. Right. right there, there I, he is. We we got exactly the same <laughs> seventeen <laughs> out on the battlefield. There's Wolf who says, "You know what? It would be interesting right now while I've got these two stabilized to make a little holy water." Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just feeling that I need to one up right. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, he just says, "I gotta do this better." Doctor Wolf, and suddenly the door kicks open, and Doctor Wolf comes in. <laughs> <laughs> I have holier water. <laughs> it's right. holier than thou water. <laughs> that you can make any time. <laughs> trademark, trademark, Doctor Wolf. <laughs> so, uh, Doctor Wright, what do you envision? In the same kind of question I asked about the seal, what do you think this holy water is going to do? What are your expectations? My expectations is whatever the incantations are, they are some kind of alchemical formula that mm-hmm. is changing the property of this water yep. so that it will effectively affect the spirit within. Okay. That, so that fits a lot possessed. with Aiden too because uh Aiden kind of thinks like everybody's experienced the same thing. They just dealt with it in different trappings. Sure. And it's like the original way to do it has kind of been lost to the ages, but maybe by doing a hodgepodge of things. Sure. Okay, I get yours. So yours is kind of the potpourri. Everything you've read has gone into this Archangel seal. Right. Okay. I'm effectively like, yeah, I'm making a weapon against spirit, something that will affect So let me be more specific. Do you envision that if you throw, I mean, what's your thought? You throw the water on the thing, the spirit runs? What I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking based on what Aiden's doing is that Whatever I throw, what I throw this on, if there's a spirit in it, it will weaken the link between the host and the spirit. Okay, it so causes almost, it pain. almost identical thing to yeah. what Aiden's will do. And, all there's, right. and there's all the metaphors of water and stories of the dead, like the river sticks, mm-hmm. the river. So like, it may make so weaken it, or at best, the have the spirit flow <laughs> from out. Okay, and maybe it's his maybe his out his little <laughs> circle will help capture it. Like, Got it. Well, okay. I don't know, man. So, so Raya on the roof. What is going to make you take any other action than continue wa- watching? If I see animates down there coming towards the house, or mm-hmm. coming towards the house that Sara's in, okay. Um, I'm actually going to be kind of planning my little exit strategy for how to get down. Off the roof, off the roof, off the roof, the via level. the outside of the via house the or outside inside? Of the the house. outside of the house, so you don't have to run through the house so to I get out. So I don't have to run through the house to get out. Can I go down, you know, a drain pipe or a fire escape or jump down onto an awning and then onto the street or so something like that? Basically, so I'm kind of planning. Yeah, how basically I take get a down there. a Jackie Chan approach. Is it is it Sir Jackie Chan yet? I mean, it should be if it's not, but uh, basically <laughs> take a Jackie Chan approach. Not yet, Absolutely. not yet. No. 
We, we, we need to we need to go talk to the queen about yes, that. I think by now it, it I'll, needs I'll to share be. It, I'll share it after this session, but there's actually a very beautiful uh, thing recently where all his previous stu- his fellow like stuntmen and stuff like that were uh, came and celebrated his some anniversary with him. It was really cool. That's, yeah, that's I'll, fantastic. I'll save that for after. All right, session. good, good. <laughs> okay, so then I come back to you guys. So you've heard the oh, somebody within the NP group that's with you has yelled "run," and they scattered. Yes. English or Egyptian? Uh, that's Great. a very good Awful question. question. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Legitimate put a, put question. A, put a character point into the middle there. <laughs> and, uh, Red Ray, question. That was, I mean, you guys get the, the potentially the gist, but it was in Egyptian. <laughs> and what you guys see, the two of you that's not Ray, you're going to see the ENP that have been standing there with the truncheons and the sticks attacking and holding mm-hmm. things at bay, not even look to you guys. They run, and they all run West, they all run up back the direction you came, so away from the wall ah, and and away from you guys. With you, there are two people that Wolf has stabilized mm-hmm. and is has basically kept from death. Mm-hmm. There are the three of you there. What do you do? All right. Well, we need to grab these two people and try to keep them as stable as possible. Do I feel and like get there's time to grab anybody? How, uh, how no, uh, all right, so the, the reality is, no, you don't feel that, okay. but but Wolf has said we need to, so it's a uh, go. What I would like to do is mm-hmm. grab Wolf's arm and just yank him along. Well, yeah. I'm trying to, there, there's no way yeah. to pull these people along. Well, I, bet my oh, I didn't say that yet, I'm just asking curious. what you guys are doing. So, so I'm <laughs> yanking on Wolf. Frankie is grabbing Wolf, and is Wolf going to resist? Yes. Okay, very good. Go ahead and give me both of you unarmed combat rolls. Ray, what are you doing? You have found the group. This is where you're going. You know exactly why they yelled run. That wall of flame does not care what's in its way. If it's coming, it is burning everything, whether they be animate or not. So you know that the two people you see at Wolf's feet that he seems to be ministering to, they will be crisp. Plus this. Well, I'm gonna, for now, I'm just going to run over to them and see what the heck they're okay. doing. I got a 19. So with a 19, yeah, there's no way I can resist. <laughs> right, right. So and Wolf. So if you if you don't resist in the oh, sense I that, can't. Well, I'm trying to. I'm resist. sorry, saying the wrong thing. Yeah. So in the case that you can't physically resist, go talk yeah, to yeah. talk to him. I mean, I got basically an arm around his middle, and right. I'm, I'm running. No, no, it's like Frankie. No, they. They need, we need to help these people. I've just stabilized them. They can't just die out here. You're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to stabilize them if you're on fire. They're. <laughs> Ray, you're there too. <laughs> what kind of table, uh, what kind of table is these guys on? They're not. They're on the ground. They're in the back end of this stall. Mm-hmm. And you do see animates moving around. It's, it's not like suddenly, magically, the animates all got burned <laughs> ahead of you. The animates are moving around you. There's the two of them. There are two people down on the ground. Wolf, as you can see, is yelling with Frank, who's who's literally put an arm around and has scooped him yeah. and is pulling him. But he's fighting, saying, no, we just stabilized them. They're alive. So, mm-hmm. Frankie, can you carry one of these books? I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to keep running. So you okay. you let Wolf go? No, I'm holding on to Wolf. Okay. <laughs> He's not... Frankie does not care about these yeah, two people. Okay. It's very clear. And I have no nothing to reason with him. Do, do you do you try battering Frankie? Yeah, yeah I'm trying to, like, do okay. it. I, All I'm, right. just, I'm going... Look, you beat me by nine points. There's no way I'm getting out of here. I get that. I get that. So, so, you're so I'm, tr- I'm trying. Very I'm good. trying. So How right. big are these people? Well, their their standard. I'm going to say the words. Their standard Egyptian, as I mentioned last week. Mm-hmm. If they're not ENP, in most cases, these men or women. In case, in this case, mm-hmm. two men. These men are between five foot and five foot six. They tend to be very thin, not emaciated, mm-hmm. but very thin. They're not particularly heavy. 130, 125, 130 pounds is very realistic as a weight. If he's, like, punching me in the head, I'm going to well, lift him maybe up not. on my shoulder. I mean, <laughs> like a little sack of potatoes. Gotcha. <laughs> so he's, like, <laughs> beating, <laughs> beating on your back, but yeah. you're still running. His arms dedicated to science. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, How could you fail me? <laughs> I'm going to try to fire him and carry both of them. Very Ooh. good. All right. So I think I'm just going to have you go with a vitality roll. Oh, Ooh, nice. Not horrible, oh, wow. So. That's an 18. All right, with an 18, you are not moving quickly, but you are able to get them moving. Mm-hmm. Wolf, of course, you can 
yeah. in a weird kind of upside down way. You can see yeah. Ray dragging both of them, yeah. but he's he's underweight. He is he is definitely encumbered. Yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> you're you're the, you're that there on Frankie's thing back. I do for football yeah. was back when I played on the line. It's like I used to carry just one of the linemen. Like here, carry two of the receivers on your back real quick. I'm like <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So it's football flashbacks for time. <laughs> it's like, Frankie, Frankie, we've got to help Ray. Do you look back? I would look back, yeah. So you can see that Ray is struggling under the weight. Is it? I mean, we're not we're not looking like last, you know, walk of Christ, but he is he is struggling carrying. Them. How close is the fire? Uh, the so he the you two are walking parallel to the line of the fire. The fire is maybe a hundred feet away and getting closer quickly. How fast? Is, yeah, they're walking at full speed. You said that. Can I, I like... just imagine some rando coming out of them with a reed and weeping? <laughs> <laughs> Can I int and see if I think that I'll have time to run back and get one of them? Yeah, sure, okay. absolutely. So you're taking a gauge at it, and you think ten. With a ten, you you yeah you you think it's a lost cause. So here okay. would be the question for Frankie. Now this is actually important. Mm -hmm. So the question for Frankie is: You think it's you're guesstimating, not having ever seen this before, mm -hmm. but you have seen the watch. You've watched the penal penal uh, squads penal and core. the what's that penal core? Mm -hmm. you know, the penal core. I was penal core. You were actually. I thought you were. Oh no, I'm Whoa. Death Watch, not yeah, Penal Court. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But on the other side, you've seen Death Watch do this too. I mean, they, they basically walk stridently forward. So your quick estimate is no one's gonna make it, meaning Ray is not gonna make it. Now it's it's kinda how how do you feel about that? No offense, Ray. <laughs> But that's not really on my like well, to do list. Over the flame and the noise of the screen, yeah. you're like, no offense, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not personal. Oh, well, I will always remember that cool punch that was you a did. Really cool punch. <laughs> Sick punch, bro. Yeah, no. I mean, I know that my group is gonna care if I leave Doctor Wolf behind. Yes. And I don't know, Ray. You know, he's... that's that's nope. That's fair. Yeah. I'm not gonna knock you for sure, it. These are my so, rationals. Frankie, it's no problem. Uh, Wolf is not particularly heavy, and you have <laughs> adrenaline on your side, so you are gone and up. Where do you go? So the, the line of fire is not literally the entire length of the marketplace. Yeah. It is a line that is moving uh, on those two quick look backs. And, and Ray, you would just know this. On those two quick look backs, <laughs> Feel it. They, they are walking with the farthest end of that flame right against the wall that, that uh, parallels the Nile. So they will swing up and come towards yeah. you, you think. I'm following the EMPs. Wherever they go, I'm going with them. Okay, very good. So you're just a touch behind them because yeah. they are completely unencumbered. Yeah. All right, so you guys go up out of the marketplace and you're on the main street. And, and effectively at that point, they stop and they just watch. What do you do? At this point, I would set down Wolf and see if I think I can like help Rain anyway. Okay. So let me, let me break this down. So, yeah. I put down Wolf. Yep. And can I make another in roll to see if I still think you the can? Same but thing? let's see what happens with Ray because okay. that's a good five hundred cool. feet of running before you <laughs> <Yeah>. stop, <laughs> and the wall of flames moving faster than that. You know so how you can get him to go faster. Yell free whiskey. That will be um, <laughs> <laughs> Irish whiskey. <laughs> All right, Ray. That so go ahead. Smell. <laughs> go ahead and give me a vitality roll. Do you have? And I don't know what it would be, but do you have anything that would affect this? You, you're not weighted down, I mean, on the negative, you're not weighted down by a shield or some huge, you know, fantasy, <laughs> Final no. Fantasy sword or anything like that. <laughs> He's got resolve. Wait, we can have sure Final Fantasy happens. swords? No. The doctor's going to have some changes. When was that discussion? Yeah, <laughs> what? Because he's having the cloud sword, the giant yeah, one. Exactly. <laughs> I'd like to reroll characters. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. want a demon wing and one angel wing. I'm sending wing. the doctor home. <laughs> I, I want to uh, make sure my blade is at least 18 feet long. Yeah, right. And right. Just <laughs> so, Ray? I don't have any skills that directly influence it. The only thing I have is like if I get tired, I have concentration and resolve. It's, it's Very good. So but I'm going to have you make a vitality roll and you can well, add the higher of the two. Yes, I was going to say, he has streetwise. 
He might know a shorter way to. No, do this is this okay. is literally an open field. So the marketplace that you guys went to in the day right. was a, was a collection of sticks and canvas, right. and it was monstrous. It was many acres I, that has pretty much been trampled down okay. to almost nothing. I was just thinking there might be like a like a side wall or something that give him an extra couple of. Seconds. I apologize. You're right, Ray. Give me a streetwise roll. Okay. <laughs> Make it count. Feel free to use a chip also. Yeah, yeah no. Please. I'll re roll that. Absolutely with, uh, use a chip. Unless also. you think you can fight the wall of fire, then try that's, that. Well, that's better than <laughs> what you've rolled previously. It's technically better. <laughs> Go 13. Okay. So you're you're dragging these guys, and you, you're you you're basically seeing the same thing mm-hmm. that Frankie saw. It's going to get you. So you realize running out of the marketplace is not going to make it. Mm-hmm. As you look to your right... That is where the buildings go. And at least in the past, when these things have happened, the fire Giant patrol... walls of fire have happened in the past? Right. Well, that's you know this. This is what happens when they do a walkthrough and burn everything. Like flamethrowers. Oh, okay. I understand what's going on. Okay, I right. thought we were talking weird plague nonsense. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this is this a man-made correct. purge. Okay. Uh, correct. Honestly, I, I thought, thought it was some Did weird... Well? <laughs> I thought it was some weird, like, crazy like thing that happened in Egypt just coming from the Nile. Just... Job well done, the uh, has yeah, been... <laughs> yeah, I was like, what, what crazy... Just, just giant, giant statues come up and just... <laughs> That's why I was like, wow, you're really... But the, so... the leaves on his castle going, why the fight? <laughs> <laughs> Essentially went down. Death Watch does in London. Yes, right? correct, yeah, correct. So, so for for Frankie, as I said, it was not weird. But I apologize if I didn't mention that it was actually man made. Well, so yeah, yeah, you did it. So I was like, there's just a like you're acting really casual about a wall of flame that just came from the Nile. <laughs> so, so in your case, you know that they will avoid burning buildings. They don't really give a rat's ass about the open marketplace, Mm -hmm. but they will avoid burning buildings. And so to your right is that wall of buildings that surrounds effectively the entire marketplace. And in the past, although it is solid, in in the past, you know that that not all doors would be locked. Some of the buildings that are on the marketplace Mm -hmm. potentially have a way through because no one lives there. So... Go ahead and give me a wits roll. You've given me a streetwise to remember that. Give me a wits roll to see if you can, with the smoke, uh, your adrenaline, oh, up, wow. nice. the screaming. What do we got? Sixteen. And and even with all of that, you do see one of those old doors. Now the door is shut. What do you do? You've got a guy over your right shoulder with an arm around him. A guy over your left shoulder with an arm around him. Uh, sorry, guys, but a headache's a whole lot better than on fire. <laughs> oh, so you have them facing head first. Battering ram. <laughs> I was going right. to say, use one to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> That'll keep them stable. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Ray, you know that kicking in the door, meaning blasting it off its hinges, mm-hmm. is not going to be good because they're going to assume Animus went in. So you want to get something where you're going to get it open. Again, I'm not telling you to open the door, but you're not going to want to just blast through this thing. You know that if you want to save the building. If you don't care about the building, Mm -hmm. go on. It's kind of how does Ray feel about this? My thoughts are the literal entirety of the city is on fire behind me. I'm not particularly caring about the door. Beautiful. All right. (laughs) Go ahead and give me a vitality. But it was an antique. (laughs) My great grandfather's store. No. <laughs> <laughs> Imported wood. So that's a fifteen. My cabbages. That's a <laughs> that guy's already just crying. It's <laughs> Lebanon cedar. <laughs> exactly. So with a, with a what was the number again? A fifteen. So with a fifteen, you just you, you literally don't even stop. You 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 ram their heads first <laughs> into the door, kind of kind of splinter the thing open. They didn't uh, have just, these concussions before. I swear, <laughs> officer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm confident that she you really wouldn't is. even look to see what's happened to them. <laughs> you you are in. So you 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 come in the stoop. There are stairs up. There's a hallway that the stairs are up from. So you can run straight ahead through the hallway. You can run up the stairs. Or you can go in the door that is shut to your right. It would require stopping, ramming through it, unlocking, whatever thing. What are we doing? Kool-Aid man through the wall. <laughs> Again, straight ahead hallway and straight ahead stairs. So you know what I'm saying? There, you know, you're you're coming down this way. The stairs go up, but the hallway continues. 
I would go up the stairs. Up the stairs. Okay. So up the stairs, you're on the second floor. The stairs wrap, or the, excuse me, the hallway wraps around mm -hmm. and goes forward to a door and then continues down exactly like you would in any apartment or tenement building, goes down. You can see that there's another set of stairs that will take you up to the third story if you want. Okay. So my goal is to get to the roof. Okay. All right, so go ahead and give me another vitality roll. We're going to subtract two from this roll. You are bringing two men up more than one flight of stairs. So first flight of stairs, you're huffing and puffing. How big was the blood splatter well, on the door of that guy's head? <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> well, thankfully, thankfully, for thanks to the stitch, it's coagulating that blood. <laughs> they're, so they're doing pretty well. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so fine. I got another 15. Fine. Fifteen. So you will get up to the you will get up to what is effectively the third story, which is the top story of the building. At this point, you know these buildings. The doorway to the roof is, or basically the small stairwell to the roof, is either going to be at the end of one way direction of the hallway. So either either at the far end or the close end where you are, or the it's going to be in somebody's room. It depends on if there's ownership of the roof by a specific person. So what do you do? You can hear the flames roaring below you. The door is open downstairs, allowing that. Okay. You're smelling smoke. You guys, and I, I should drop back. So Frankie and, and Wolf, you will see, you see Ray literally run from this distance right through a wall. And he's <laughs> off, he's <laughs> off the field. And the flames moments later go right up to that doorway and then turn and they are, that wall of flame is now coming to you. Now, what you guys will notice is that it didn't go flame the entire building. As soon as they got up to the building, they turned and started coming this way. Mm -hmm. You're standing in an opening with buildings to your right and buildings straight ahead of you. That opening is how you got into the marketplace. How hard would it be to get to Ray now that the flame has turned? Impossible. You would have to run through the flame to do oh, it. Oh, okay. okay. It's toward, towards us. Or I guess impossible alive. <laughs> well, a it's possible alive so, yeah. in human form. I'll set down Wolf, but I still have a hand in the back of his clothes. Yeah, well, I, I'm fortunate I see that Ray's taken them. There's no way I'm getting through there. No. I just... I'm just going to have to hope that, you know, the men are at least going to be okay, because I don't know how well he was handling them. One of them had a punctured jello. I'll remind you that roughly every 15 seconds, mm -hmm. there's the alarm that just goes, whoop. So what happens to try to help people, Wolf? So I guess at this point, we'll just wait for the flames to stop and we'll yeah, go collect this, them. Yeah, this so point. you're going to stand and watch them basically yeah. burn, burn the ground? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so they will they will make it in your direction. I'm sure you guys are not going to stand there and get roasted. Oh, so yeah, you guys will doctors. back away, back away, back not away. But once they hello, once they, I'm a doctor. <laughs> 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 once you once they get to that edge, they will stop and they shut it off. And now you get to see who it is. It it is people with the ENP uniforms, and they've been running flamethrowers. Different than you're used to seeing in London. It's a three barrel instead of a, or a three canister instead of a two canister setup. Hmm. And once they shut it off, they're, they're, it smells different. Neither of you is going to immediately, because it wouldn't be something Wolf would have any connection to. And for Frankie, having smelled it before, you just know that there's a slightly different smell to it. It's propane and propane accessories. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of clean burning. <laughs> it's an herbal smell, but I don't want to make it sound like you smell cinnamon and spice. I mean, it's okay. it's it's a herbal or tree or that type of like uh, plant smell. As opposed it's hippie to, propane. <laughs> <laughs> as, as opposed to like lubricant or, okay. or this, accelerant. Is this that smudging they talk about? <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> so, oh what do you guys Sorry. do? I mean, we're really just going to stand here. So the flame is done. Now. Yep, yep. Yeah. They they they're shutting the they're shutting the nozzles off. You see them cleaning the the leaking yeah. ends. I, is, do we see Ray on the roof from so this my, distance like, or no? Grab turns into a pat, and I'll say, "Okay, we can go get up now." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so you guys go walk back over the scorched earth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys are wearing your the uh, gas mask, so mm -hmm. the smoke is not going to be too effective on you. It is going to be very hot. Mm -hmm. This place is so hot, it sucks already. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's just hot all the time. Yeah, I've kind of reached like the height of like how much I can care about the weather. <laughs> okay, so you guys, you guys head to that door. Yeah. So, Ray, what did you decide? 
I guess I'm going to head to the end of the hallway. Or okay, the I'm far at. end? Yes. Okay. So at the far end, yeah, there is a door that heads up. What are you going to do? You, you, you would assume the door is locked. You would make that assumption. One of the two on your shoulder so, is making a noise, like a, a groaning noise, not a weird animate sound. I just mean, <laughs> I just mean that, that... Well, now I don't feel bad. <laughs> All of a sudden, yeet over the banister. Right, so in front of me is a locked door, and behind me is essentially the rest of the house. No, 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 no. So you've gone up to a top story. As you stand in this hallway with the stairs leading down behind you, there are four doors down the hallway... At the far, basically from where you come up, there's one door to your right. There are three doors to your left. You go down the hallway. At the last door, that would be what you would assume is the locked door to the roof. And it and it, and it says roof I got lost in, in, in writing. Ago. So yeah, yeah. So my goal in getting to the roof would be that there is only one way that something could come at. Have I reached that point with this lock door? In, yeah, I think even before you go on the roof, yes. You can stand you can stand here and something that came right. up the stairwell. <laughs> you would be fighting it on the stairwell. Okay. So yeah, I'm you gonna can set the guy I'm gonna set the guys down and okay. I'm gonna wait until well relatively when the ground is gonna stop being smoldering. Gotcha. So you guys get to the door, Wolf and Frankie. You're gonna Okay. How big is the blood splatter from that guy's head? <laughs> so, so there, there is, there is. It's not a round hit like he just pulped the head. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it, it looks like. No uh, tunes. And you, you may not even have noticed why, but there's, there's basically a stretch of it. So, whoever's made the blood potentially has anything from a because head wounds bleed has anything yeah. from a small scratch to you know half his face is well it's off. also going to be a bit hard especially with the stitch still going do in do you have forensics tell. I do have forensic pathology <laughs> are you going to stay downstairs and forensics the door no, no. I'm no. Gonna, you got to recreate the whole um, scene however. so Ray came this way used the man in his right arm to bash through the door <laughs> paint the picture are there blood drops on the stairs yeah Okay, so we'll just follow those up. Yeah. Okay, and the blood drops very quickly, and Doctor knows why, very quickly slow down to one or two. By the second stairwell, you've lost the trail. Okay, can I make a tracking roll to try to pick up, like, disturbances in sure, the Sure, give me a tracking roll. It's okay. going to be extreme, but it doesn't okay. mean you can't do it. Um, no, I don't know. Um, ten. All right, so here's where you're at. At this level, are you two talking... Yeah. So Ray, well, you're I don't there. know. Are we um, talking? I, I don't know. I was going We're to say, why don't we just, each other. Why don't we just call out his name? He's right. up there. And you're, you hear this, and <laughs> they're literally a level down. I'm trying Ray? to figure yeah. out if Ray is smart enough to like memorize what they sound like. <laughs> he is <laughs> dim. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give Ray? you that. I'll give you that. Go ahead. And, and my, ad my adrenaline is pumping a little bit right now. So yeah. So. so maybe not. So for you two, yeah. You're. You're. So here are your options. <laughs> On the landing where you are, mm -hmm. you know that there is a. You can see that there is another set of stairs up. You just have to go around and go up. You can see three doors: one to the right, two to the left. And they're all closed. All the doors are closed. <sighs> I think we would just go up. At least I would go up. Uh, if you're lagging, I'm gonna pull on. Yeah, you yeah, no, I'm probably <laughs> just going to go up. I'm just Ray. Ray, this is Doctor Wolf. Go. Thank up you for here. saving those men. Thank you. <laughs> up here, They're... Doc. Oh, okay, I need to check on them. I yeah, managed to stitch them up a bit, but uh, there might have been some rough handling out there. <sighs> well, excuse me for trying to run away from the wall of flame, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no respect. I like Ray again. <laughs> So, Dr. Wolf survive. comes up, kind of holding his, his hips. And, well, and no, not necessarily breathing. his hips. He's like... <laughs> that was three full flights of stairs. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes, okay. Ray, go ahead, Dan. You hurt? There was some blood we saw there. Just making sure you didn't get I'm injured. I'm fine. Um, <laughs> that guy might be a little bit... Slightly worse than he started out. So and so for Frankie, mm. sorry, his his I had to improvise. His face is covered in blood, <laughs> but he's not bleeding. Uh -huh. His face is covered in blood. But for you, doctor, basically what happened is he he nicked the corner uh, the corner over his eye yeah. and then just bled. Okay, yeah, and I'm just gonna like. And now it's all coagulated on his yeah, face. I, mean, I feel great, doctor. I don't feel a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> 
So but I'm also double checking, especially the one with the inflate with the like the deflated lung that I had to refill. Right. I'm making sure that like nothing like got jostled too bad. You're or, you're like gonna that. make me a roll. Mm-hmm. That one's the bigger problem. The uh, the leg is is not so so big a deal, but mm-hmm. I just want to specify that I am watching the doorway. Yep, medicine. The the stairs down or the yeah. doors or both. I mean everything. Everything. Yeah. All right. Medicine, yes, please. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use one of my personal rerolls. I might as well use the personal rerolls before I start using chips between sessions. Yeah, medicine, because there is not surgery specifically. That was way better. That's uh, 16. So with a 16, you're going to have to minister to it, but you can yeah. get it again back yeah. to where you feel like he has a chance. Okay. okay. If only you knew a peerless surgeon... <laughs> I oh. knew you'd come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So while oh, this holy are... water. It's a shame. If only you knew a chemist. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong Neither. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Look, you're both pretty. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna leave the three of you yeah. now taking care of this too and getting things settled. Uh, no back up. No so Raya, what fight. you're going to see <laughs> is is again. Looking in the expanse that you've got, there's no movement, but up straight ahead on the street, which is in the direction of the marketplace where, where you know that the group has gone. And again, the marketplace is a few miles away, but you are seeing more, a lot more smoke billowing up there, enough that you can identify that it's coming off there. It, it's, it's not a common sight for you. I don't... I don't envision it's something that you've seen before. Maybe you might believe that there's that there's a building that has has quickly gone up in flames, but this this massive amount of smoke just billowing up is is definitely drawing your attention to it. To your right, as you're watching that, to your right, you will hear two gunshots in quick succession. Uh, quick look down the down the road. Give me a wits roll. Eight. Okay, so with an eight, uh, there's just there's just enough uh, smoke kind of billowing in pieces, or not billowing, but but straying in pieces that you don't see anything. Roughly a minute longer, and you start seeing a small troop of ENP. You see five of them going door to the door, knocking on the door. They wait for a moment. So in most cases, the door opens. In the one case where the door did not open. You see them look at each other, knock a second time, this time a lot harder and louder to where you really do hear it from here. You're getting a nice echo down the, down the hallway, or down the, down the street. And uh, when that doesn't happen, one of them looks at the other one, and the other one takes out something, shakes his hand, and then you will see him spray an X on that door. So about how far up the street are these guys? Uh, they're one, two. They're they're ten doorways, ten tenements, mm-hmm. and they're on Sara's side, okay. the Sara's friend's side. So I'm going to go downstairs, mm-hmm. and I'm going to let Wright and Aiden know that ENP are knocking on doors. They expect you to open, otherwise they're going to mark the door. Aiden, actually, you do know that, right? Um, um, and you can you can actually tell her. That they, they come through after an attack when, when ENP has decided that it is controlled, they go through room by, or basically house by house to make certain that everything is okay. If there's no answer, it's a concern. It doesn't instantly mean they're going to destroy the so house. So the doctor should probably, you should make yourself scarce when they knock on the door. Well, just be at the door and answer it when they Why come Why are they in. painting that lamb's blood over there? <laughs> <laughs> um, when I was up there, yes. what was going on out at... The uh, the cemetery where I saw. That is completely the other direction from where you're looking. So looking out of the cemetery, it's going to be peculiar to you. So it is it is daytime. It is nighttime. It is, it is nighttime. 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 It is night- so all you see are the nighttime. small fires at each nighttime. of the each of the whalers stations. There is no movement out there, which which you would hope would be yes. the case, but there is no movement out there okay. at all. All right. So eventually there's a knock at the door for you guys, and you specifically answer. Yes. So the, the person there says something in Egyptian. You have no idea what the person said. I 
I'm going to say to him, I don't speak Egyptian. So so he says something to one of them behind him, and the one behind him, as he comes forward, you'll notice that he has, in the, your first thought is blood, but then you realize he has little drips of red paint on his hand. Uh, he, he, he says, everything okay. Yes. You can yes. see that he's fighting to figure with the words. And you say yes and nod your head, uh -huh. and, and he nods his head too, says something back to the man, and they head off. They walk down and away from your stoop. Okay. That's like British people on Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> so for you guys, it's going to be basically uneventful for a few moments, at least. Minutes, hours possibly. For the three of you back by the marketplace, what do you do? Well, now that we've got at least these guys stabilized again, the one with the leg injury, one person can carry. The, yep. bear, the person with the lung injury, we're going to need either to make a makeshift stretcher or have two people carry like at the legs and at the front okay. to I'm try and carry him down. not a huge fan of all three of us being encumbered, to be perfectly honest. Just because EMP came in with the flamethrowers doesn't mean that... Well, anime All we have to do is at least get them back to the, re of the rest of the EMP that are up the hill. I'm not in a rush to help a bunch of kid killers. Let's just tell them where they are. They can get their own people. EMP may be a bunch of bastards, but they also the only thing keeping the animates out of the city. I mean, it's built that way. I don't part. really... That was good. That was the people good. who make the decisions for that to be in effect are the same ones who are killing kids. It's the same difference. We'll just let them know where they are. We should get back. So, <laughs> now, so what I'm, I'm hearing Frankie I'm, say is, yeah. let's leave these guys on the third floor of this tenement Wolf in saying, the hallway. Wolf saying, no, we should not be just leaving them up here. We should be moving them at least to... Especially when EMP starts going through these houses looking for animates that they find two unconscious guys. They may not be smart enough to actually check. Then we'll leave them in the field. I don't... I don't... Wow, interesting no. sign of Frankie. I like it. <laughs> well, no, Frank's not, not dealing with these child killers. I understand that. No, I'm good. That. I like well, it. I like it. I know you don't share the same oaths that I made, Frankie. But I made an oath. It doesn't matter whether these people took lives, whether children, elderly, animates, it doesn't matter. What matters is that there's people here, there are people here that need my help. What matters to me, ultimately to me, is that I uphold that oath to do no harm and to make sure that these men are brought safe and given the care they need. Whether you help me or not with that, Frankie, is up to you. But I'm going to make sure these men are, are at least taken care of. That's well within your right, Doc. Wow. Are, are there... Is the character pool already full at six? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> very, very nicely done. Uh, Michael, where are your corruptions? Obsession and consume. They're both at one. Okay. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Ah, nice speech. Mm -hmm. So then what's happening? with the three of you. It, it, it sounds from my side of the table like Ray is willing to help Wolf do something with them and that Frankie has zero interest. Correct. Okay. Well, the one with the leg injury is the one that's going to be... The, he's the one that at the least risk. It's this one. You at least willing to watch our backs while we take care of this? Yeah, I can do that. Alright, well that's something. Alright. So, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I know... Race, but it might be hard to have like one person hooked under and he's like helping with that. Well, but. I don't exactly think we need to do this at the exact same time. Let's just stick to it one at a time for now. All right, let's. I've already ch I'm carried both these guys up these stairs once. Let's start. You with... are tired mm -hmm. from that. Let's start with the one with the lung injury. So the two of you carry him. Yeah, basically two man carry. I'm assuming Wolf has no idea. So Ray, where are you suggesting you take him? Well, Again, we... I mean, we saw where the rest of the NP that had brought us were first, so that's where I was thinking. But all right, so when you guys went out of the marketplace that is now a burned field, they were there when you first got out, and then they left. Mm. So there, are, there are no ENP there, mm. right? Okay, take them to the shish kebab market. <laughs> <laughs> well, the marketplace is pretty much burned down. If we can find a spot, even on the First floor, we can, or against one of the walls in the, where would they? I realize that you're dim, but go ahead and uh, still give me a, an intelligence roll. I mean, it's, it's, it's not unrealistic for you to think this. That's a nine. 
<laughs> so, so you're thinking, if not reading too much into you, I'm assuming that you don't want to just leave them lying somewhere. So why not take them to the an, an EMP, EMP station? Well, now that I know th- those exist, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> and and Ray, Ray knows where quite okay. a few of them are. All right, what's the closest ones? <laughs> right, and, and you guys will head that way. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. so Ray, just give me a streetwise roll. Frankie's kind of sucking his teeth, but he's like, do you want me on you or do you want me to stay with this exactly guy? exactly where it is. I got a 20. <laughs> you get the shortest way you can possibly. All right. So well, you guys, I think you're staying on that. Because <laughs> you guys carry him that direction. For, for the two of you that have not seen this station any, be, before, there's nothing special about it. It did not have some kind of designation with a red star on it. You would assume it was just another building. As you come closer, carrying them to to EMP, to fully dressed, Mm -hmm. carrying, and the importance so that you guys know, carrying sabers, both of them, not out in their hands, but at their sides, both have sabers. The two will come out, and for you guys, it's it's gibberish, but for you, Ray, they'll say, what what is wrong with him? He was injured in that last Shadem fight, not turned. And and they'll look at each other and uh, I am wearing the sash stuff. Yeah, right and, and they and the one of the two that's been talking will, will turn to you, Doctor, and say something. What he says to me is he says, Doctor, what are his chances? He's asking if um if this guy's gonna be okay. He's not from around here, doesn't speak Egyptian. The, the man nods. Mm-hmm. Okay. I um well, based on my thing, my analysis, he's it's He's stable. He's stable. He needs to be taken care of, but yeah, yeah of course, he's stable. You're, he's stable. you're very good at what you do. Yeah, no, especially, I, I would say, he's stable. They will want to keep an eye on him. It was a, a lung injury. There is one more that we need to go get, suffered from a leg injury. We'll be back for them. And I want to be directed on top of taking sure these two are okay, if there's anyone else that's in need. So uh, what do you what do you say to them? <laughs> uh, he's stable. He hurt one of his lungs. He needs care. Okay. <laughs> and and the man nods and says something. The other one runs inside. Do you say anything else? There's one more in one of the houses in the market district. We're going to go get him and come back. It, it, he says you 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 two will will actually you three will go get him. Yes. Yes. You're yeah. nodding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, but, but he says yes. I just nod. So <laughs> three men come out with a board from inside. Mm-hmm. You guys lay them on the board yep. and then turn around and immediately head back in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is the one that had the bad leg. Yeah. You guys head in, head up. He's not there. Ah shit. <sighs> How smug is Frankie looking right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mine is an evil okay. smile. <laughs> Frankie's like, oh no, where could he have gone? What a shame. I wonder <laughs> what happened. Uh, as we're, you're sharpening your as heads we're walking that. up, were there any doors open? There there are there were no doors open. That I did not break down. No, no, right, right. There are no doors open, and when I say when you say break down, you kicked in. Be, the difference mm-hmm. being you tried everything you could not to destroy the door so that the door would close. You basically tried to break the lock without breaking the entire door or splintering it or throwing it off its hinges. Yeah, okay. So, no, but you do hear talking on the this level behind one of the doors. Talking, not screaming or yelling or anything like that. Uh, hey, ENP guy, you up here? That's what you do. <laughs> I didn't know, I don't know his name. Do you know his name? <laughs> uh, Mr. Like Doctor? And right. I'm sorry, I said the the name tag wasn't quite clear. Do you, do you have Egyptian as a as your language? Yes. Alright, give me a roll. So I'm gonna have you give me an int uh, Don't have me it's roll a, int. It's a language roll, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is it is language, but I'm trying to think, do I wanna have it be you know what I'm gonna have it be charm and language. So adding the two together? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not horrible. That's um, 16. Okay, so so you, you kind of holler that out, and where the noise, where the speaking was, the, one, of the, one of the speakers is getting clearer, and is saying, I, I'll, I'll check. And the door opens just a crack, and a female voice says, you're here, here for the man? Yeah, we, we had to stash him here for a second while the fires were going. Is he okay? He is well. 
and she opens up the door. So for the first time, you're going to see more or less the peasants mm. <laughs> in, in their home. Actually, do I have the term? The fella. Okay. Basically, the, the lower class in their, in their homes. As she opens the door, it is a large front room. Okay. The man that you were talking about is, is, or the man that you were looking for is reclining to the couch. So laid back, leg out. Mm -hmm. Seems to be okay. A little, little mm -hmm. white, as you would expect. In addition to her, and she pulls the door back, covering most of herself. She is in the clothing you would expect with basically the, uh, the draped clothing around her, but very, very shabby. Okay. There are three more men in there that are all sitting around the, the ENP. One of them is speaking to them. There are two young children, you're guessing males. And then there are two young children you can see behind a doorway peeking out. Mm -hmm. There could be more, but you can identify two in there. Okay. What do you okay. guys do? Frankie, do you go in? No. Okay. So you can see what portion of that you can see through the doorway you, you okay. decide. Guys, I'm give me a total sausage fest. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I'm using Ray as my interpreter. I'm Dr. Wolf. I was the one who stitched your leg. Ray here is the one. Uh, Ray managed to get you to safety from the, um, what was that, fire that was coming through? Yeah, That's that was the, the EMP, EMP right, fire so core. Yeah. Go ahead, Ray. What do you say to him? This is the doctor that helped patch you up. I had to get you um, out of the mm -hmm. fires that were coming. Give me a language roll. Uh, okay. Ten? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next. He says thank you to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming you say thank you. Mm -hmm. Doctor, go on. We're going to move you to to the EMP uh, office. Yeah, the one over on her uh, street. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you say to him besides our, uh -huh. <laughs> what street it's on? We need to move you over to the EMP office over on that street. And he says, I will need help up. Mm -hmm. All cool. right, come yep. on then. Yep. And you guys help him up, yep. and we take the walk back. Yep. So you you drop him off. The group come, and the two of them again come out. There's a group that, uh, or there's a, uh, a collection of the officers move him inside without the board, basically, you know, two around him. And the one who had talked to you first says... Very good. Is is the doctor available to help? What do you say? I don't suppose you're available to help more people. I am. Of course you are. And yes, you have your valise with you, mm -hmm. okay? Yes, the doctor is available to help. And he he looks at you mm -hmm. and motions with his hand, mm -hmm. come. Okay. Do either of the two of you go into the ENP office with the doctor? Yes. Yeah, especially if Ray's also going in. All right, good. So we'll step away from you guys for a little bit. Inside, real quick, to let you know, to, to let you know, Dr. Wolf, there are a few of the NP. In most cases, they are, they're not bites, but they are cuts or abrasions from, from some form of fighting. There is one that's been bitten that you, they bring you into another room. Between the two of you guys, you're going to talk about... You know, is there any chance? The guy is going to go a little more detailed than with the other ones asking where where you are from. It sounds like maybe uh, uh, London, England? London, yes. England. Uh, do they have any better way to know whether he will turn to Shadet? There, and I'm assuming no. There's not a, there's no... Well, you don't way. know what they do, but yeah. but what do you what do you want to tell them? Well, I'm not sure how much I... I, I out of character, I'm not sure how much... I know out of character. With so you guys. probably don't. I mean, go with it. Yeah, play it, no, play it how it's, you want. It's... I know all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Well, I do know that if it's a limb, it's probably best to amputate it because that will slow that poison. But there is a small chance that it won't be necessary. But that does still put him at risk at turning. That much I do know. Okay. There and he's gonna he's gonna ask you how long. If you're cutting off a limb, how quickly after he's bitten does that need to be done? Uh, how about I do a medicine roll? Give me a medicine roll. Because <laughs> this is one of those moments where Wolf has more knowledge than me. So That is 16. Okay, so with the 16, you're figuring in the range of 10 to 20 minutes. In talking with him, you find out it's been far longer... <sighs> So basically yeah. the question becomes for you and, and for him, do they do the unthinkable and take his life? 
Or do they watch? Or do they wait till he turns before mm-hmm. they do that? And that, that, that's basically I'll, I'll tell them it's like it's we're we're <laughs> it's it's fifteen to twenty minutes if he's been longer than that. Okay, and and then the question comes this way, Ray. I don't know where you stand on animus. So how much of what he's saying are you interpreting fully? Meaning, I, I don't know how you stand on on the animus. Do you basically not pass the information correctly so that you basically allow them to kill this guy? Or do you pass this the very tiny hope that he might survive? I mean, one way or another, I'm going to tell him a guard will have to be on him in case what I do does not help him. How, mean, much, <laughs> how much of that do you... I. Ray, not knowing anything about medicine whatsoever, I look at a guy on a, basically a little hospital bed or whatever on a floor, I don't know, and he's got a bite on his leg? Uh, on his arm. On his arm. Close to the heart. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Matt's even worse. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, all, all I'm asking is, do you endeavor to interpret what Michael said, what, what the doctor said, or do you shunt it and basically say, there's no hope, you need to kill him? I don't, again, my thinking is, I don't know, I don't want to put thoughts in your head, where does Ray feel on animus? It's a reasonable thought this Ray guy doesn't talking. care. <laughs> All right, so, um, I would interpret in, correctly or not? I would interpret correctly. Very good. All I right, would, so yeah. what you will hear, hear them say, and he'll show you the rest of the areas where you're going to go, you'll hear him talking, get one of the whalers, bring them in. Okay, and you know what the whalers are. Mm-hmm. They, they sit and watch the temples uh, across the water. So, we'll leave you guys there. Back to the house for you three. Good so, news. Raya, you, you are downstairs. I've become a holy man. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've come in. Pretty much at this point, it is quiet. Okay. I am going to go back up to the roof and uh, keep watching. Continue watch. All right. The food, sadly, is all over at your house, Aiden, over at the other side. The siren has stopped. All right. So, you know that that does not mean you're out, of the, out in the clear Right? Did I say that right? It, it does not mean everything's over, but it does mean that the, the vast majority where they are aware of the outbreak has been taken care of. Okay. Sort of like you could go out if it's mm-hmm. an emergency. Exactly. Well, food's an emergency. Food's um. a good emergency. <laughs> I'd say so. You don't have to be starving. I'm just letting you no, know. Okay. You guys, you do not have food in this house. We haven't no, eaten I... tonight yet. That's correct, Dr. Wright. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll say, well, I seem to have made all this holy water. What, what's this? The keys. You can go get food. Oh. All right. I know I shouldn't be seen by the ENP, but oh, boy, they got bigger problems. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go to the tour. corrupts in the ENP. Honestly, yeah. my, uh, Aiden's thinking about so many things. He would have yep, totally slipped his brain. And and me, I'm I just I just made holy water. I'm feeling good. I love it. So I'll set it right there. And you know what? Actually, I'll take a vial out of what I have, and I want to keep some because I made. It. So, so I you put it in. Put it yeah. in your. It's the one non-white liquid. <laughs> in right, my it's the black potion. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the black holy water. Yeah. So do you? Do you? Although it's in your bag, that's yeah. not a problem. Do you take your bag with you going next door, or do you leave it here? You never know. Yeah, no, I always it. take that. You always take it. Yeah, I mean, what, right, if, would I leave my so, drugs. So <laughs> you step out the front, cane in hand, walk down the steps, walk over to Hayden's well, house. And so, so I will. Peek my head out and make sure there's no ENP. I will look up and no, down the street. No, there's, there's not. There are three people in the street in general. Yeah. They're at distance from you. Do I see him leave the house? Uh, you would have to actually lean directly over from, from your vantage point where you're looking. I, it's, it's not in any way difficult. I'm just saying from your vantage point, it wouldn't be something you would do. With okay. his warrant rating so high, the police are just going to warp in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are those stars above me? Oh, well. <laughs> so, so, Wait, off- what's that sound? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to your to your right, again the the street. There's one person walking across the street, not shuffling, just walking across the street. Ahead, you see still the the wisp of smoke. Yep. So, so I mean, if the guy looks at me, I'll like tip my hat at him. But that, like, not at this distance, yeah. you're not going. So to. yeah, I mean, so then I just I just meander over to the next door. Okay. Ryan, do you think there's any reason that you would literally like lean over to look down? Unless I hear something. So I wouldn't yeah, think so either. So you do see towards. the man down the street to the right? Yeah. You see two people coming down the street very, very quickly. Give me a wits roll. Doctor, you get up to Aiden's house and you're fumbling with the keys to go and lock. 
Oh, oh, it's not that one. <laughs> oh, no, it's not that one. Wait, what's that strange music? 17. Oh, yeah. So, with a 17. I have meth and ADHD. Wait, did you know the balance out? With a 17, <laughs> you, you are seeing two people running very quickly towards the house. And as they get very close, you realize it's Cal and Maroon. Both of them look sweaty. Maroon's weapon is out. It looks like there's blood on it. I will run downstairs to let Cal and Maroon. All right. Well, hold on. So, Doctor, you're going to you're going to get the door unlocked. As you put it in, you get struck from behind, thrown into the door. Oh my! Um, <laughs> you hear the door slam behind you, and Cal what? says, "Doctor, they're after you." And we'll what? stop there. Oh. <laughs> Why, thanks, Cal. We That's already knew that. <laughs> All right, so we'll be here next week. Till next time. Right. Till next time. Thanks, Barry. Thank you for listening to another NCRP Productions podcast. To stay on top of everything we're doing, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook, all at NCRP Productions. You can show your support and help us continue to produce content by joining our Patreon. We offer additional podcasts like our B-Sides and have GM materials, maps, and other fun things you can discover over time. You can find our podcasts on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Apple, Google, and many other fine podcast sites. Just look for us at NCRP Productions. We value your thoughts, so please don't hesitate to leave us feedback or comments. And if you would like to contact us directly, you can email us at ncrpproductions at gmail.com.